Hey everyone, this is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. My name is Terry G. And if you can take a second, can you please hit that subscribe button and slam that like button? I'd really appreciate it. What I'm going to talk about today is a little about my experience when it comes to step three in Alcoholics Anonymous, turning our will and our lives over the care of God as we understood him. And I remember sitting in a 12-step group and very young in sobriety, maybe a month or two, or maybe even up to a year, and saying to myself, I am not getting this God stuff. How am I gonna turn my will over to something that I really don't believe in? And that was a big thing. And everybody around the table was talking about, yeah, they found God, they found a higher power and all that. And I thought, because I didn't really believe, and I didn't really understand it, that how could I turn my will in my life over? But if you look back, in your drinking days, you look back in your drug days, you already turned your will in your life over to a God. And that God was alcohol or drugs. So I always, I already did that. So I, I could turn my will over. I could turn my whole life over to something. So turning my will and my life over to a, the uh, God that I understood, I got hung up on the word God. And that's a big stickler for a lot of people, Big, a big you know wedge when it comes to the 12 step program is this God thing. And I went to a multiple of meetings and I kept going to meetings. I heard guys in, in groups saying they got sober without even a God or without even a higher power. And I started to loosen up a little bit. And then somebody said to me, God can be just good orderly direction. Just go to AA or go to whatever program you believe in and just live that program. And that's basically what I did. I basically went to 12 step programs and just kept an open mind and followed the steps and did the steps the best I can do, could do at the time. And believe me, at that time, it was very rough. So I started to turn my will and my life over to a 12-step program, to the home group, you know, getting advice from people in the home group, doing that sort of thing, taking some good order directions from sponsors, sponsors, from people in the group, and listening to other people. But getting hung up on the whole God thing, I believed in God, but I believed that God didn't show up when I needed that when I needed him the most for lesser words so it really lessened my belief that God could help me with this awful disease of alcoholism and all the bullshit that happened in my life so turning your will in your life over just turn it over to the group turn it over to somebody that you respect and you're you know you have they have good views of life and they're very responsible and maybe take a few ideas from them but just remember that we already did give our will and our lives over to a god and that god was the god of alcohol the god of drugs we did that so we can do that it's just that when we're clean and sober we have our own will our own thoughts our own beliefs come to life slow it down and don't be so defiant with your beliefs and what what is right or wrong just go with the flow trust the journey of recovery don't you know they always say god may push you out of 12-step programs or recovery programs, but alcohol will bring you back. It really will. Alcohol is the bigger evil when it comes to this turning your will business over. And your will basically is this. Are you ready for this, folks? A lot of people think, oh, my will is my the way I feel, whatever. It's not. Your will is basically the way you think. So we turn our thinking over to a higher power or a better way of life, or for me, good orderly direction good orderly direction and just change the way i think change the way i approach things and you're already turning your will over to good orderly directions to somebody in the program or to the 12-step program so don't get hung up on god don't get hung up on this trivial stuff just keep an open mind and trust in the journey and just take it one day at a time because that's all we have right folks we only have one day at a time your life is changing to the positive even when you're not thinking that it is because every day sober is pushing you in a positive way into the future believe it or not change we must and turn in our will and our lives over the care of god as we understood him is part of the process it really really is try it try saying a prayer that's what i do nowadays say a little prayer say god you got this i turn it over I'm not ashamed of believing in God these days. I'm not ashamed of that. And thanks to God that I have sobriety today. And thanks to Alcoholics Anonymous, this channel, and all the people around me that helped me 
get sober, to help me get to the place where I am today. I am so grateful for my life. It is not perfect. It is perfectly imperfect, just the way it's supposed to be, okay? I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a comment below. If you didn't, leave a comment below. But can you all do me one favor? Can you please subscribe to my channel and smash that like button, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. Just remember, we're all in this together and together we can have a great, great life. Ciao for now. God bless. Safe over and out.